What's up, boys? Your boy Paul Blake, the building. Um, this is early in the morning, so my voice will be a little bit low. But you know what? I'm gonna try to perk up real fast. So, I want to be on some Madojas again. Now, as you can see right here, this is a terrible hand. This is why when you see my postal wall stuff, you're gonna see magical plan disappear from the deck. The reason why I'm just tired of I'm tired of having that card in, in the deck. I'm tired of it. Yeah, like it was working during drying rule time. And then like my first mistake again was why did I why did I evade the, the Mr. Lotto? But I would just let him just go off with Terramasu. He could have just went and attacked my monster and I would have been into the game. But at the same time I don't know what was his back row. Yeah, so I would definitely would have had a tanky one off. Uh, and instead I'm forced to do a terrible play. And pretty much and then why didn't I why didn't I circle Oh no, never mind. I had no target because it was back in the deck. No wonder. And then pretty much since I knew he had torrential, I was just like Yeah, I can't do anything from here. Even if I even if I wolf bark He's going to Torrential, and then I'm going to be out of Monsters, and then with a minus two, yeah, no way in hell. And, he, and, like, and even, if I, even if I Black Circle right there, I'll still lose. So, that's why I lost this match. I lost the game, not the match, a game. So, we got a game too. But yeah, like, I just hate, I mean, like, Magical Planet is such a good card, but at the same time, it really pisses me off. So pretty much I've been broken, like crazy broken. So you get you to see what's the this powerful setup. I get to have four back row. Well not four back row, but three well, I gained I'm pretty much at I'm already at six formations. That's interesting. I'm already at six formations. So I could definitely saddle him if I whenever I want to. If he ever clears on my board, but normal dojo chairs, they don't do that. But at the same time, that setup is not safe. Because when you have extension night coming out, you're gonna be you gonna be really it's gonna be really scary. So reason why I, I popped the tensions early so that so that he is forced to do a play. Because I'm not gonna be dealing with I'm not dealing with turtling. F that. If he if he if you get to play you kill with me, you gonna you gonna go off. So he Terramasu's Tarikan, my Tensu, which is which is you know, which hurts. And but at the same time since I already had a Raven in my hand, I'm like, alright, I could do something with this. And then he has DD Crow. I'm like, are you kidding me? Hold up. Wait a oh, I Gyoku locked the trap <laughs> Oh man, that would have sucked. Oh my gosh, I had wow. Oh man, my my Gyoku locking is just insane. I just I just don't like back row, so I'm gonna bring out the monster. I thought I I thought I was gonna be able to go for the triple formation, but I was like, you know what? Let me get my plus first before I get hit with something that I don't like. And then, then cowboy him because again, you want to make sure when you do your play, it's safe. So, oops. Yeah. Well, F it. You guys need to look at it right here. So, so game three. After I dealt with with the drama of that card, I had to do something about it. So he used to go plus all crazy. What did I hit? Oh, I hit the MST. Uh, and then he has sound warning. I attack with snake. Just all like I ate. I ate of his back row. So now he's forced to again. Like he's forced to do a play that he's not that he does not want to do in this situation. So and then pretty much from here, I need to I need to take control of the situation. Cause I did not want to do Raven then then trade for Swallow. You know that is a good play, but instead I didn't want to do that. So luckily a top bank said, 
Leopard and I pretty much went with the Buffalo play. Get rid of the field card and just put the monster and just send those monsters back to the deck. I mean I can care less if you try to search. I don't know why would you add the cat. You should have added um Magi. And then again, this goddamn crow. So you'll see what happened. Very similar to what happens in game two. He crows my freaking buffalo. You know how annoying that crap is? And ain't knowing that you have knowing that you have the crow. Yeah, it's good to do it on cost, but you don't want to do it against me. You really don't. You want to just if you if you have D crow, D crow the buffalo. Just D crow it before I do cost. So that is the end of the match, and of course we will have a bonus video for you because I. Can. Of course, the bonus video has to be you know hype and stuff like that. So I want to be his agents, and pretty much my hand is very explosive. So, the reason why I didn't want to activate the tanky from hand, because there was no reason for me to. And I did not, I don't like going for turn 1 spirit. You really don't. And yet, whenever you do turn 1 spirit, you better hope they don't have dark hope. So, now this is where, since I already knew they didn't have anything else, I'm going to take control of the field. Add the two the two um, death pieces to my hand, and pretty much Carno him out, and this is pretty much the game right here. Because um, again, you got Tenson. This is just instant death, instant. And um, this is your boy Bob Blake out. Ciao.